This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. There's a strange playback glitch when you use compound clips to generate slow motion in Final Cut. In this short video, I'll show you what the glitch is and provide workarounds to avoid it. I got an email over the weekend from Dave who was talking about a an error, a bug that occurs when you do a slow motion clip in a, a compound clip inside Final Cut. And yesterday during rehearsal, I got this bug to occur every single time. And today for the nine o'clock, it did not occur once. <laughs> so here's what this is supposed to do. If you have an edit in a, in a clip, like here I've got a series of edits, through edits, that are closer than a second apart. If I bundle those up into a compound clip, notice I've now turned them into a compound clip, and I apply a speed change to it, Command R, let's just run this at, at some amount. When it hits that edit, you'll get a glitch, which I discovered yesterday is actually a flash frame, a one frame flash frame. So here, I'm playing this through, and if you watch really, really closely, you're not going to see a single glitch. Because, of course, that's because you're watching. If you weren't here, the glitches would occur all the time. What I did find yesterday, as I was running this, is that the, the edits did not to be less than a second. They just needed to be. They needed to be edits in the compound clip. And the compound clip needed to be set to some number which did not divide evenly into 100. I ran it at 80, 81%, and I got a glitch on every single edit, which, of course, I cannot get today. Let's just prove that. Let's just change the speed and make it make it 81%. And now as I play this back, there's about six, up, 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 up. Up, there it is. It occurred. This is great. I'm going to just back up here. Let me show you the glitch right there. There's the out of the outgoing clip. Notice the glitch. And that's the end of the incoming clip. I cannot get the glitch to occur if you have speed which divides evenly into 100. I can get the glitch to occur regardless of how frequently the edits are placed. If there's just a single edit there, whether within a second or not, doesn't make any difference. If you run at a speed which does not divide evenly into 100. So just be careful if you're using compound clips for slow motion to always pick a speed which divides evenly into 100 or don't use compound clips. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 348. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.